hello and welcome to the lazy kitchen today we're going to do something a little bit different and very seasonal because it's the beginning of fall we're going to do a butternut squash uh, feta black olive and arugula little baking dish it's going to be a very short prep time probably closer to five minutes um, the bake time is going to be anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes depending on your oven and also depending if you're using fresh cube squash or the frozen squash like I do, the frozen one is a little more tender and it usually cooks a little faster, so closer to 30 minutes. For those of you who are new to the Lazy Kitchen, I welcome you. It's a space for many people like you and I who either don't have time to cook, don't know how to cook, don't enjoy cooking, but you still want to put a budget-friendly meal on your table and something that's healthy. So, uh, three basic rules in the lazy kitchen. Number one, lazy. No prep, no cut, minimum prep time under 10 minutes. Um, no cleanup, the best part. We're gonna do everything in the dish. Uh, rule number two is thrifty in the sense that we, we try to get the food as affordable as we can without cutting corners on the nutrition. And I'll tell you where I source and exactly how much I paid for it. Number three, Probably the most important rule, at least in my book, is healthy. And we want to use minimally processed food, unprocessed food. We want real food on our table. And uh, I'm going to define a, a nutritionally uh, balanced meal as a meal that has a good source of protein, um, that has at least a couple vegetables. That's often where people really struggle to incorporate that consistently and a good source of carbohydrates. Incidentally, I have celiac, so all of my meals are gonna be gluten-free. A lot of them are also going to be dairy-free tonight. Uh, this one won't be, but it's pretty easy to uh, make some substitutions and make them dairy-free. So let's look at um, what we need for cooking and the ingredients. Uh, we're gonna use a plain baking dish uh, depending on how many portions you're going to make, you can use something a little bit bigger or deeper, it doesn't really matter. And we're just going to use a good oil at the bottom. For this, olive oil works just fine. Today I'm going to make a slightly um, smaller portion. Um, I'm by myself at home for the next five days. So I like this recipe, but not enough to eat four straight meals of it. Um, as far as the ingredients, so butternut squash, the beauty about that is you don't have to injure your shoulder or your wrist anymore to eat it. It comes pre-cut in a lot of grocery stores, uh, either in the fresh section. In this case, I got it from the frozen food section. It was like $1.90, it's really inexpensive, and nothing but squash on it. This one being frozen and thought's probably going to cook a little bit faster. Um, we're going to use some onions. I have, whoops, I have a bag of plain frozen cut onions. Uh, I'm not going to use the whole bag. Onions go a long way, so we're going to use maybe half of that. They're dollar twenty at Walmart, so it's going to be about sixty cents worth. We're going to use some green, oh, never mind, black olives. Uh, really, any olive that you like will do. It's going to add a nice flavor, also nice healthy fats. This is about a dollar. Um, I got some good natural crumbled feta, which Trader Joy looks like. Um, that one's a, about $3, um, so that should be enough for the meal, maybe a, even a little more than I need for this particular portion. And then we're going to use uh, some fresh arugula. For those of you who don't know what that is, um, it's, a, it's a greens, a fresh greens that has a little bit of a tart flavor, so it's really nice and enhances things that are a little sweeter like the squash. Um, for those of you who are not going to eat something you can't pronounce, you can substitute spinach for that and it will work just fine. And one day maybe you'll be adventurous and you'll try arugula. So um, get your ovens ready. I'm going to maybe not turn my on quite yet because it makes a fair amount of noise. Last thing I want you to notice is we got the timer. It helps me hold uh, myself accountable. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do, we're going to take the onions and the butternut squash and the arugula and we're going to mix them all together. There is an important thing that you need to do if you're cooking with frozen vegetables and that is you want to drain the water. 
So we just kind of tip them upside down and if there's water, we'd want to drain them so it's not too gooey. Not a lot in the squash. There's a lot in the onions. I've found that the hard way before. So I'm going to really expel a fair amount of the juices. Excellent. And I am going to put, you need a pretty generous amount of oil in the bottom of the pan so things don't stick. So, especially if you like to cook lazy like I do, I don't like to scrub dish pans. I like to just rinse them and throw them in the dishwasher. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna use half of this. can go back in the freezer. And I'm going to take out my squash. I love the fact that they start offering cut squash. I've had a few of them go rotten on me because I was just dreading um, cutting those sausage up. Arugula or spinach. Very nice goes on. I'm probably not going to use the whole bag, so I'll Throw those on my lunch salads. You can add a little bit of salt at this point. The feta and the olives are pretty salty, so don't overdo. You can always add a little salt at the end of cooking. I'm gonna just add a little bit. And then, without making too much of a mess, we're going to mix all of these together in the baking pan. And if you like things to be a little richer, it's a great time to add some olive oil. Let's mix that in really well. Good. It's a nice way to get the greens in your system. I don't bake them very often, but they are really a nice thing. All right. Mmm, that's a nice the nice sheen of the olive oil. We're going to add on top, kind of dress the dish with the olives. Now, little trick about the olives, the brine of olives can be a really nice condiment if you like, like things to be a little more like moist and a little more salty, maybe not all of it, but brine is often, we toss all of it away and it's really unfortunate. So I'm gonna, be generous with the olives. And another thing I'll tell you about olives, it's a, a wonderful source of calories if you're feeding someone that needs a lot of that. So I'm, a lot of people maybe our age are more watching to avoid more calories, but if you have teenagers at home that are in a lot of sports, so I know we just came from a long bike ride, so I'm pretty hungry. Um, olives is an easy, inexpensive, and healthy source of extra calories. So last thing is going to be the feta. It comes in crumbs, so it's super easy. It's supposed to be. And we're going to add that. And it's distributed, and voila. So four minutes and 21 seconds. Um, obviously it took me about a minute to get everything out from the freezer and the fridge uh, and ready to go and drag the baking pan from wherever it was hidden. Um, but it still is an extremely quick recipe. Um, it's going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes. I would recommend you cover it with a foil for at least the first 20, 25 minutes in order to not burn up the, the cheese and the olives. And then you can take it off for the last five minutes and just add a nice little browning. Another thing that I like to do, uh, I always like to add a few things at the end, totally up to you. I'm probably going to throw a few pine nuts or walnuts for a little extra nutrition. And sometimes I like to put some dried cranberries in there, but you can play around and do whatever you want with it. You have a basic dish, you have some greens, some onions, really good squash and olives and a cheese. So it's really a meal that's ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed 
cooking with me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the meal and I'll talk to you soon. All right, let's put the beast in the oven because I am hungry. I'm gonna probably give it a good uh, 375. That way it will be ready sooner.